That's cool. I didn't know this can last that long. Yeah, Oh, okay. So I got it on the the first mode. I guess that's battery saving mode. Let's go ahead and rock it. say the first mode is super slow this is about like 10 miles per hour all right the first mode is super slow let's go to the second mode here you go Alright, so I'm going to go back to the first mode. Alright, this is the first mode. Let's see how fast. Switch to the next mode. Nine miles per hour for the first mode. So let's check for the Okay, we have the second mode here, 15 miles per hour. Let's check the third mode. All right, so here is the third mode. Let's go. Rough road. the fix I think I gotta take it to another place this road is messed up all right guys 19 miles per hour for the third mode I think it's increasing by 5 miles per hour so the first mode is 10 miles per hour the second mode is 15 miles per hour the third mode is uh, 20 miles per hour so I guess the fourth mode is 25 miles per hour as indicated on the website of um, Mipo so yep I'm pretty happy with this speed I'm good that's cool I would have liked to do a speed test on the the fourth mode but I think it's going to be too fast for me to be handling the camera the remote and the phone at the same time so I think I'm not going to do that
this car just pulled over man almost crashed I don't know if he knows that this is the bike lane you pull over to the right how fast you go? like 25 miles per hour no battery battery right? Yeah. No brake, I'm still moving. No brake, no brake. Then here it is. So at a certain speed, I don't have no brake. It's super smooth. It feels better than the belt drive in some ways. But at low speed, it's kind of jerky. I have a usual spot in Central Park. A very steep hill. I'm going to head over there for the hill climb test. Didn't have no problem going uphill with my belt drive over here. Let's see how it does on the herb motors. All right, we got the yeah. This is the the fastest mode. Now let's go on a steep hill. Check that noise. Wow! Gets pretty noisy. But yep, I'm making up here all the way. Now I have another one over here. Let's head over there. They're doing great though. I mean, it's kind of faster than my bird drive going up here. Yep, I made it all the way up. Wow. All right, so you guys have to give this a thumbs up. Made it up, up here. This is the craziest hill in the area. It is super steep and I made it no problem. Now let's see if the motors are hot. They are super hot. Two bars on the battery, but still not bad back down here and let's check the, the brake does the brake applied all the way up I mean it 
it's strong enough it's stopping i'm good so the brake is a go hill climb is a go torque is a go it looks dope i have a pretty good uh clearance under the board so as a conclusion if you are someone who is looking for something uh, simple and easy to build the herb motors are definitely uh, the way to go if you are using a brushless like a belt drive Unless you are running FOC like I do, they won't be that quiet. But the herb motors, they're super quiet, nice and smooth. Uh, they can be a little bit jerky when um, on slow, on slow speeds. But other than that, they are. Here you have it. I'm about to go swap with my belt drive and uh, cruise a little bit. Then, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Stick around for upcoming episodes. And, uh, yep. See you on another video soon.